Four from East Brunswick, New Jersey, number five, Amir Bell. EBTV traveled down to Princeton University for an Ivy League basketball matchup between the Tigers and the Dartmouth Big Green on Saturday, February 6th. Starting point guard and East Brunswick High School alum, Amir Bell and his Princeton squad jumped out to an early lead over the Big Green and never looked back on their way to an 83-70 victory. The Tigers are now 14-5 overall as they picked up their fourth win in the Ivy League. The uh, season's been going really well. We've, we're off to a good start in the Ivy 4-1. And uh, we have a very good team, you know, mostly a lot of experience from last year. And our main goal is uh, winning the Ivy League and getting into the postseason. Winning the Ivy League would secure a berth in the NCAA tournament, which Princeton has not appeared in since the 2011 season. You know, when you commit to a school, that's your main goal. You want to play in the NCAA, NCAA tournament. And we're really close this year, and we just got to keep getting better each game, and we'll definitely have a shot at the end of the year. Bell has started all 49 games of his Princeton career to date and the sophomore has averaged 8.8 .8 points per game, along with 2.9 rebounds and 2.6 assists, while continuing to be a formidable defender. It's been a great experience. Um, I'm definitely blessed to be here. It's been a great opportunity to play every game as a freshman and as a sophomore so far, and I just want to keep uh, doing well and playing the best I can for my team. And then you were kind of fortunate in East Brunswick, you know, playing for Coach Henning and for Coach Mott. Uh, how do you think that playing for those guys has helped kind of prepare you for this level? Oh, they definitely made me a better player. They pushed me every day in practice. So when I got here, you know, it was just a quick adjustment period. So I really owe a lot to them. And uh, how is it, you know, kind of, I'm sure, you know, if you're watching NBA, you know, you got Carl Anthony Towns, first overall pick, you know, and then yourself, Rob Ukawuba, uh, you know, playing in college and a couple other guys from St. Joe's and around the Red Division. Uh, how, does, how was that competition in high school kind of prepare you and, and you know, how, did, how was it seeing those guys do well? Um, yeah, the GMC was very good. It prepared me very well for college. You know, a bunch of people in, from the GMC are playing in college. So just playing against that level of competition really got me ready for this, for college. And it's great to see them doing well. Carl, doing, Anthony Towns doing really well. I mean, he's gotten so much better. He's such a great player now. Rob's doing really well. And a bunch of other players from the GMC, so it's really great. But yeah, those are some great battles back in high school. And uh, how about the academic side of it? Obviously, Princeton is, is a great academic school. Yeah, East Brunswick, great education, so I wasn't really culture shocked when I got here. You know, the work at East Brunswick was challenging, so once I got here, you know, it's pretty much the same thing. You just have to do work, um, dedicate your time wisely, and it's not too bad. Real quick, like, what, what's a day, like, you know, in season for you? So in season, I'll probably have three or four classes a day, so I'll usually finish class around 2.30, 3 o'clock. Uh, come down to the gym right after. We start practice at 4.45, so that means you're usually on the floor around 4. Uh, we practice till about 6.30, go grab food, and then you go to get your studying and work done for as many hours as it takes, and then go to bed. And uh, how about, I'm sure, you know, your role model for the next generation of kids coming up, you know, maybe in middle school right now, or coming out and watching you play at the high school, maybe coming out playing here. Uh, so what, what kind of message would you have for the kids that are looking up to you? I'd definitely just say work hard every day, and if you're passionate about something, you know, just love it and continue working at it, and you can do whatever you want in life.